Celtics is sold out and noisy inside here in Boston. Hi again, thanks for joining us for this edition of the NBA on 2K Sports. Now it was a great game one of the Eastern Conference Finals. Now, game two, just about ready to tip off. A quick check now at the starting lineups for both teams. And for LeBron James, his team will look for him to be a determining factor. He's got some That's what I really respect about him. It seems like the more pressure there is, the more he enjoys the moment. So he is the guy you want taking the big shot at the end of the game. And here's something else, Dean. He invites contact when he's attacking the rim. He doesn't try to finesse his way through anything. He's going through bodies. Taking a look at Boston. Tough loss for them in game one. We'll see if they can rally back in front of their hometown crowd to tie the series. And Kevin, this virtually becomes a must win situation because of that loss in game one. It's happened so rarely that a team loses the first two games at home and ends up winning the playoff series. Yeah, they'll be stumbling if this one gets away from them, no doubt. Having to hit the road knowing they need to win two games in hostile territory. But if they like to shoot here in the game, which team is ready to take control of this game. Well, yeah, that's a dunk that could absolutely get them going. I agree, Clark. And so it's the Celtics getting on the board first. Irving gets the line. Back to Irving. Cleveland moving the ball around. LeBron passes to Irving. This is it to LeBron. And out of bounds as the Celtics gain possession. A lot of new play so far here in the first. And now Doris Burke does an update from the sidelines. But Kevin, here's what the Celtics head coach had to say when he spoke just a few minutes ago. In terms of how they'd respond after giving up home court advantage in game one, he replied, that was last game. That's in the past. We just got to focus on the present. But he did admit that a loss here will make things very difficult for them. History tells us, Kevin, that's a near impossible thing to overcome. Always great to hear from you, Doris. Not watching the line there. That'll be a backcourt violation. J.R. Smith's checked in for Cleveland. Forty-one seconds left in the first quarter. And here comes the break. Pass to Thomas. And he lays it straight in. Heads up for uh, on both ends there. Uh, transition basketball. The steal and the quick push. Steve, that's how it should be played. I mean, rapid fire basketball. Now here is Smith. Side Irving. And he connects in a jumper. The screen did the trick. Irving's got his second bucket of the night. That was an outstanding pick that gave him the room to bury the jump shot. Underrated, but not undervalued. Now, here's Thomas. Johnson sets the screen for Thomas. Number 36. And no good trying to get that one. Tie game in Boston. The second quarter coming up right after this break, so don't go anywhere. It's the NBA playoffs. Thanks for joining us as we get back to the action here in this game two. When you consider how the Celtics are doing, Stephen Clark with us. And I like what they've done offensively, really attacking the rim, getting a lot of points in the paint. And guys, they've been the aggressor early. I mean, attacking the hoop and getting into the paint, that can make the game really easy for you. Jamal you know, Johnson is out there with Horford. Well, it's Jay Crowder. Then it's Isaiah Thomas. That's the foul to begin the second quarter for the Celtics. So it's the Celtics now. Following the miss by J.R. Smith. That one goes. Come on. Thomas got the first points up on the board here in the second quarter for the Celtics. Cavaliers trailing. They won in their last outing, Saturday's game. Tell you what, the way they shot the ball in that game, Kevin, it looked like a shooter out there. They <laughs> sure did, and all the more impressive because they did it on the road. They're not supposed to be able to get that high in an opponent's building. Well, I'm not necessarily a big fan of him shooting that shot, but they did give him the space.
It's the Zolich ball. Thomas off a pick from Horford. Back to Johnson. It's going to be two free throws. Two contact on the shot. You know, he's really adept at keeping possessions alive by hitting the boards and cashing in on some of those putbacks. And we'd be remiss if we didn't also mention his supreme shot block. I mean, he doesn't do it softly. He comes up with emphatic denials. And on the shepherd is checked in for Cleveland. Just over one minute has passed here in the second quarter. Back to Williams. Outside jumper. He kicks it to Williams. There's a whistle on those on Isaiah Thomas. That is his first foul of the game. Forty seconds left in the second quarter. And that one's good. Well, the drive to the bucket was nice, but how about the finger roll finish? Beautiful. Thirty-six seconds left to play here in the second quarter. And there's the whistle. Fired hard on the shot. He'll go to the line. It's going to go on Tristan Thompson. Zelich had gone two for two in the game at the line. Free throw good, Thomas. And both free throws good for Thomas. And at the free throw line, it's all about consistency with him. Same routine, same stroke. Shot clock and game clock separated by less than six seconds. There's Williams. And the shot is good. Williams has got his second basket of the game. Guys back and forth this first half. Well, five lead changes early on, guys, as we grapple back and forth. <laughs> this could be a, a back and forth game all the way, guys, the way it's being played. This is fun to watch. Outside Thomas, beyond the arc. The Cavaliers pull it in. Here's Shepard. Shot is off. Close game as we wrap up the second quarter. Cavaliers lead by one. We'll add the start of the third quarter for you shortly. But first, it's the Sprint Halftime Show with Damon Bruce. And now, brought to you by Sprint. Hello out there and welcome to the Halftime Report as the conference finals continue on 2K Sports. Plenty of hustle from the Cavaliers. They're looking for their second win in as many games in this series. Through two quarters, their offense has been simply unstoppable. Bucket after bucket after bucket after bucket after bucket, you get it. Getting it done early, Darren Williams. And what a game from Kyrie Irving as well. On the other side, the Celtics looking pretty solid as well. The difference in free throw percentage completely in their favor, and that's been the key to their success. Isaiah Thomas getting it done through two quarters. He's been a man on a mission, and his team is just letting him take over. Look at what he dropped in the first half. That'll be all for us here at the studios as we head back to the start of the third quarter with Kevin, Steve, Clark, and Doris. Thanks so much for joining me. The Sprint Halftime Report, presented by Sprint. And we welcome you back to the Eastern Conference Finals here on 2K Sports. You have to like what we're seeing from Thomas. Everything's magnified in a game like this. And with the microscope squarely on him as their go-to guy, he came through in a huge way in the first half. Steve, that's what he's known for. I mean, his ability to raise his game according to the situation makes him elite level. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups courtesy of Gatorade for the second half of basketball. On the court for Cleveland. LeBron James is out there with Kevin Love. Then there's Amon Shepard. Then there's Tristan Thompson. And it's Irving at the one. Thomas gotten three of his four shots to fall. Hitting 75%. Here's LeBron. And it's out of bounds. The Celtics will take it the other way.
The Celtics with the lead. Outside Thomas. From deep three-point range. Thompson with the rebound. Thompson's got his third rebound tonight. So it's the Cavaliers. Love with the screen on Hook. No good from the ground. That's not an opportunity he fails to convert very often. Johnson dishes to Thomas. And if they're just joining us, we played over a minute here in the third. Back to Johnson. Hit his leg. And it's whistled a kick. And the Cavaliers with some changes. Fry comes in for Tristan Thompson. And Darren Williams is subbed in for Iman Shumper. Johnson with a screen on Irving. Number 36. Again, the miss by the Celtics. Boy, that's got to be deflating and disappointing to miss a wide-open shot like that right in your wheelhouse. Williams, that's for two. Misses off the left iron. You really don't want to see him missing those mid-range shots, but when he's open, he's got to shoot it. He feeds it to Crowder. Pass to Johnson. He dishes it to Crowder. Nice ball movement by Boston. Thomas picks to Hofer. And stolen by LeBron. And here we go. Fast break. LeBron's got it. LeBron, left side. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Amir Johnson. That's his first foul. Yeah, you know, these calls can be some of the toughest in the game for the official. It all happened so fast. I really think that was the right call. The defender was not really set in that situation. A three from LeBron. And Williams, there we go. Coming up. Can't connect. And we just finished the third quarter, and we've got a tight ball game here. It's the Celtics up by two. And do not go away as we'll be back in just a few moments with the start of our fourth quarter coming up next. All right, we welcome you back to what's been a hard fought battle. Fourth quarter should be good. Now LeBron. Andrew Johnson is out there with Jared Clark. Then there's Horton. Then it's Isaiah Thomas. That's the Boston Five. Thompson misses. I think he had all the space he needed. He just couldn't find the bottom of the net. Moving against Thomas. Takes it to Horford. Just his first attempt. And he overshot that one, missing. And it is very dangerous to leave him open like that. Lucky break for the defense that he missed it. The ball kicks to Irving. The shot goes down and gets this game back to even. Irving's got the first basket as we get going in the fourth for the Cavs. Irving's got all three of the shots to fall for him. Three, four, three. The dish to Horford. Changes hands once again. There has been no separation between these two teams tonight. What an intriguing basketball game, that's for sure. One ten left to play in the final quarter. And stolen by Hofer. Number 36, covered by Smith. Johnson with a screen on Smith. Into Johnson. And count it. Two points with a chance to run more at the free throw line. Oh, what a clutch shot. That could be the difference there. Big, big moment in this game. And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for the Celtics. And they keep piling up the assists, guys. Great ball move. Another factor here tonight has been the amount of points they scored off turnover. Great and one play right there. Tax another point on the lead. And I'll tell you what, guys, he's really showing us a killer instinct. Moving against Thomas. Irving attacking. It's in! What a beautiful shot to bring him to within three. Boy, just terrible defense there. Steve, really just a layup line for the most part. I mean, not much defense at all either way. 
fourth quarter now. We're about a minute and a half in. I think we'll see them burn the clock a bit here. No, I think that's probably a smart move. I think so, too. Chimes in with a screen on Smith. The feed to Johnson. Thomas, six to shoot. Austin needs to get off the shot. Out of bounds. Cleveland will take possession. That's a poor possession. You just give away the ball with a sloppy pass. 17 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Irving, good luck. The wind jumper, a tough. And the defense got away with a major lapse there. And that's an intentional foul. Well, you do what you have to do to extend this game and try to get the ball back. In this situation, clock management is crucial. So he goes two for two at the line. And it's a five-point game. And that's exactly how you close a game out. Those free throws will bury him for sure. There's 10 seconds left in the game. Johnson with the block. And that's out of bounds. Cleveland will retain possession. Six seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Here's Shumper. So we see Boston get the win here. They came, they saw, they conquered. Hey, Kevin, to me, any win is a good win. And that about wraps it up for Clark Kellogg, Steve Kerr, and Doris Burke, and the whole crew from 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan saying so long, and thanks for watching the NBA Eastern Conference Finals. Now let's take a look at the Jordan player of the game.